In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. We think about St. Valentine's Day, we think about the Day of the Lovers. But I think we could give a mystical interpretation to this, even though this was a man who actually suffered and died for Christ as a martyr. No greater love can one have than to give one's life for the loved one. And I think that the, the true interpretation of St. Valentine's Day as the Day of Lovers is the, is the love that Christ had for us. St. Valentine's Day also is a day in which lovers give each other cards or hearts. Well, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gave us his heart. His heart was formed in the womb of the Most Blessed Virgin Mary. During his public ministry, his heart was moved to see the sheep without the shepherd. There at the Last Supper, St. John the Evangelist actually leaned on the breast of Christ. He leaned over the Sacred Heart of Jesus and heard the loving heartbeats of the Savior there at the Last Supper when our Lord would give us the greatest act of love that he could give to us, the greatest gift he could give to us, which was the Most Holy Eucharist. When he said, take and eat, this is my body, take and, take and drink, this is my blood, do this in memory of me. There is true love. Love is, love is measured by giving. Our Lord was giving, not simply bread and wine, he was giving his very self to the apostles, but he was giving his very self to all of humanity until the end of time and giving his love for you and for me in this blessed sacrament. But then at the last, after the Last Supper, the following day, Good Friday, our Lord was crucified for us. He shed every drop of his precious blood for all of humanity, but he shed also his precious blood for you and for me. How profound the love of the heart of Christ. And finally, as he hangs on the cross, and he says, Father, into your hands, I commend my spirit. Then Longinus takes his spear, and he thrusts his spear into the very heart of Christ, from which gushed forth blood and water. Symbolos, symbols of the sacrament of baptism, confession, and the Most Holy Eucharist. So when you think about St. Valentine's Day, don't simply think about chocolate and hearts and lovers as such, but think about the true lover is Christ. He loved you so much that he died and shed his blood on the cross for you.